zoo horror caught on camera, a child falling into a gorilla exhibit. Authorities killing the endangered gorilla to protect that little boy. He is now doing okay this morning, and ABC's Marcy Gonzalez has the latest from the Cincinnati Zoo. And we warn you, some of the video you're about to see may be disturbing. Good morning to you, Marcy. Hi, Amy. Good morning. The zoo is back open today, but that gorilla exhibit remains closed as officials look into how this horrifying encounter you're about to see unfolded. This is the dramatic video showing 10 minutes of pure terror. Watch as a young boy is trapped in a zoo enclosure held in the clutches of a 400 pound gorilla. A child has fallen into the gorilla cage. At one point, the four-year-old boy seen here cowering in a corner, the massive primate hovering over him, onlookers at the Cincinnati Zoo yelling as suddenly the boy is grabbed and dragged through the water, his mother reassuring him from above. The gorilla even appearing to make eye contact with the boy, holding his hand before standing him up, then grabbing him by the back of his shirt, sweeping him through the water again. Oh my God. After 10 minutes, a zoo worker taking aim, shooting and killing the 17-year-old endangered silverback gorilla named Harambe while the massive animal is holding the boy between his legs. They made the right choice because they saved that little boy's life. The boy rushed to the hospital, his family telling ABC News he has been released, surviving the incident with only a concussion and a few scrapes. But this morning, protests and anger online about the gorilla's death. Many questioning why Harambe was killed instead of tranquilized. Some pointing to videos like this one, showing a gorilla carrying an injured boy who had fallen into her enclosure to zookeepers for help. And this one showing a gorilla standing watch over an unconscious child, saying they demonstrate that gorillas can be protective. Others saying that tranquilizers can take too long and can actually irritate large animals, like this chimp who escaped from a zoo in Japan last month. Also this morning, more questions about how the boy was able to get into the enclosure in the first place. Zoo officials say he was able to crawl under a steel railing and make his way through wires and bushes before falling 15 feet into the moat below. An eyewitness says the whole thing happened in an instant. She believes there was nothing the boy's mother could have done. I'm not sure that, you know, she could have reacted and, and done anything either at that point. He was there and then he was gone. It was like a split second. The boy's mother saying in a now deleted Facebook post, as a society, we are quick to judge how a parent could take their eyes off of their child. Accidents happen, but I am thankful that the right people were in the right place. And the family releasing a statement overnight, thanking God and the staff here at the zoo for saving the boy, saying he is now recovering back at home. Officials here at the zoo releasing a statement of their own, saying this is the first time something like this has ever happened here. Amy? We are so happy that he is doing all right. Marcy, thanks so much. And joining us now with more is Jack Hanna, the director emeritus of the Columbus Zoo in Ohio and the host of Jack Hanna's Into the Wild and Jack Hanna's Wild Countdown. Uh, Jack, it is so hard to watch that video. Can you give us a sense of just how much danger that child was in when he fell into that moat? Right. Ten seconds here, though, first, if I could, please. Remember something. No one loves gorillas more than Columbus Zoo, Cincinnati Zoo, and the zoo world. We have given literally millions, millions of dollars to preserve these animals, both mountain gorillas and lowland gorillas. I happen to have a little house only three miles from where the mountain gorillas live. So I've worked with them for 35 years. I can tell you this right now. From the video that I saw, study these gorillas for 35 years. Like that chimpanzee you saw go for that guy. I said it in the beginning, his mouth, his, his actions. When that gorilla, all the yelling that was going on, all the commotion up there, the gorilla was standing over the little child. You can see here, if the child was pulled through there, that gorilla was upset. Having worked with these animals for 35 years, that gorilla could have easily, I've seen him take a green coconut, a green coconut which came bust open with a sledgehammer and squish it like this. That's a silverback male, by the way. It's a totally different animal than sometimes than a female. So you're dealing with either life human life or animal life here. So what is the decision? I think it's very simple to figure that out. Jack, what about all the people online who say, why not tranquilize uh, the gorilla instead right. of shoot it to kill? What do you say to that? Well, working with researchers tranquilizing gorillas, which I've seen with other animals, once that dart would go into that beautiful big silverback male there, once it goes in him, what's he gonna do? 
with a child right there. He's going to jump like you would or any other animal or anybody. He's going to jump like this with the power this animal has is beyond comprehension. They're a magnificent creature. But I can tell you now, there's no doubt in my mind that that child would not be here today if they had made that decision at Cincinnati Zoo. Wow. And, and it took 10 to 15 minutes before uh, they were able to take that shot. Why do you think it took so long? I know they were getting the female gorillas out of the enclosure as well, but that seems like a long period of time for that child to be alone with the gorilla. Well, they were trying their best to see what would happen there. They saw that there was more, more action from that gorilla, that silverback, that would tell you uh, that this thing was in, they had to do something very quickly. The dark, dark takes too long. The child would not have a chance. All right, Jack Hanna, we appreciate your insight. Thank you so much. Such a tough story, and it's worth pointing out that the gorilla didn't do anything wrong no, here. Not so at all. A lot of victims all around here.